Okay, I'm with Paul Mader. He's a general partner at Highland Partners, Highland Capital Partners, which he founded in 1987. So, Paul, you have been around for a long time watching the VC industry. We're here in uh, the Venture Summit, always on Venture Summit, so thanks for joining me. Happy to. Paul, you set up on stage that you think the VC industry as we know it is coming to an end. That's very intriguing. <laughs> well, that may be an overstatement, but what I said is that uh, the venture model is going to change a lot. We're opening a new chapter in the history of the venture industry, and the model is going to transform partly because of changes in the amount of capital going into the industry. Right now, the, uh, the, the amount of capital is contracting as we speak. First of all, angels have pulled back, corporate venture has pulled back, um, hedge funds have pulled out of the venture industry, which all of which I think are, are largely positive trends. Uh, but secondly, I think the amount of capital going into professional and institutionally managed venture capital is going to contract as well. I think that's good too because I think we have to get back to funding smaller, more lean, more capital efficient companies and fewer of them in each market space. Now, is that a function of the economy, the economic downturn, or is there something else going on here? I think it's a function partly of the economy and it's partly a function of where we are in the cycle of development of industries. The microprocessor revolution that started in the late 70s and early 80s and gave us the entire semiconductor industry and the software industry and the mini computer industry, the workstation industry, the personal computer industry, and ultimately gave rise to the internet and, uh, and, and, and all of the transformations in industry that that begat. Uh, that, that cycle is really getting fairly mature. And the venture industry is now in the process of retooling itself for a new set of challenges, some of them around clean tech, some of them around other industries. Uh, and that's just going to require looking at what we fund differently and, frankly, being more selective about how we enter new markets. What do you think is going to happen for, with all those companies? I was just speaking to Reed Hoffman. Last year, he was valued at a billion, Reed Hoffman of LinkedIn. LinkedIn was valued at a billion. I remember Slide and Ning, half a billion dollars. What's going to happen to all those companies? There's no, there's no exit opportunity. Well, that's a different question. Those companies are uh, not going to be able to exit unless there's a robust IPO market. And all bets are off until the IPO market comes back. What's going to drive the IPO market coming back is, frankly, a uh, resurgence in the economy as a whole. Um, some of the uh, public buyers who got burned in the last cycle turning over, and we're at about the 10-year mark from the collapse of the internet bubble, and, and uh, people say that 10 years is about the amount of time it takes for a new generation of people to come into Wall Street. To create a new bubble. Uh, not a new bubble. To create, hopefully not a new bubble. Right. To create a healthy new environment where people want to buy startup stocks. Also, frankly, there needs to be some change in, uh, in the structure of, of finance. And I'm not sure that's going to happen anytime soon. We're not in an environment now where there's much appetite for deregulation. But frankly, there's some regulatory impediments to a healthy IPO market. And that has to change. Okay. Well, I don't want to go down that path. I do want to stick with sort of restructuring the VC industry. How does it have to change the fund sizes, the amount that goes into companies? Does all that have to change? All that well, has to be smaller? I think a number of funds are going to disappear. A lot of the uh, peripheral funds are going to disappear. So there's going to be less competition. Fund sizes are clearly going to go down. The aggregate amount of capital going into the industry is going to shrink. And what that's going to result in is when there is a promising new market opportunity, instead of getting 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 companies funded, maybe 1, 2, 3, or 4 companies will be funded, and they'll each be able to get to a cash flow break, even self-sustaining level that much quicker. It really is a little bit of the problem that has been too much capital in agri in the industry, and it's time for the shakeout that everybody's been talking about for the last 10 years, now finally upon us. Well, I guess historically there's typically 3,000 companies backed by VCs, $30 billion, 25 to $30 billion invested. This is just the VC industry. Do you see that going down, the number of companies invested in and the yeah, I would amount? expect the 20, I think the number last year was $29 billion put out by the venture industry. I think that number is going to contract over the next three or four years to something on the order of 50 or 60% of that number. 
And what about the amount, the number of companies? The same. There's going to be substantial contraction in a number of companies. Maybe not quite so much in, in, uh, in relative terms. Um, I think there are going to be more companies funded that will be smaller and less capital intensive. Uh, but clearly the aggregate number is going to contract significantly, maybe instead of by 50%, maybe by 30%. What do you think of the, the VC model where they look for exits around 20 to $80 million? Uh, in for, cap value of companies? Yeah. Well, th there aren't a lot of... <laughs> There aren't a lot of ways to make a lot of money if you put $30 million into a company and you own 50, 60% of it and you sell it for 70 or $80 million. It just doesn't work. And that's what's precipitating this, this contraction. So I think we're going to get, get, have to get back to a world where when there's a new interesting area, one or two or three companies get to own the, the dominant market share in that area rather than splitting it among lots of uneconomic smaller companies that then have to be rationalized by the marketplace. Okay. Well, you're also raising a fund too. Do you want to mention that? Or do you want no, to no, that? no, no, no. Okay, that's, well, that's kind of good luck with that. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Okay, thank you.